Hey, so real quick before we start today's video, I just want to say that if you need any help live or tutorials or anything, you can catch me on Twitch. Uh, I live stream Photoshop tutorials over there sometimes uh, during the week. So if any of that interests you, there'll be a link in the description. Yo, what is up, guys? I hope you're having a good afternoon. Uh, today, we're going to be Photoshopping our own Twitch banner. Uh, to start, I'm going to be showing you what size uh, you're going to need for that image. So the website that I have pulled up here uh, is canva.com slash sizes slash twitch. Uh, I can have that in the description for you, but this is going to show you essentially all of the sizes for everything on Twitch. This is a great website. They have a whole bunch of stuff on here. Uh, I haven't used it much other than pulling this this profile banner size right here. That's what we're going to be looking at today, the 1920 by 480. Uh, if you need help with any of these other things, uh, like I said at the beginning of the video on my Twitch, I did Photoshop some of this uh, live, so you can check that out. So this is the one we're going to be pulling here today, 1920 by 480. And real quick, an example of uh, some of those. This is mine right here, the Games Plus Internet logo. I typically do gaming videos, so if you want to catch any of that, uh, you can subscribe to this channel or find me on Twitch, like I said. Um, but you might notice that it kind of ends. My, my banner kind of ends right about here. And uh, the other one that I photoshopped live on Twitch last week for a, a friend of mine, uh, his also ends right here, and there's actually a pretty good uh, reason for that, so I'll show you that real quick. Okay, so here we have my Twitch channel. Uh, you can see my banner here, and actually you can see this is perfectly centered. Even though the image itself is not centered, it ends right here. Uh, the banner itself also ends right there on Twitch. Uh, in the day and age of multiple ratio screen sizes, this is the typical screen ratio that you're going to want if you want it to be set up for desktop viewers. Uh, also, if you if you click on it, you can extend it to a full view to the wider view. Uh, typically, it doesn't display this way because then there's no chat on the screen. So I cut my banner off uh, at a certain point, and I can show you how to do that. If, if you want, you can extend it the whole way. You can have it set um, to go all the way out there. I don't because, you know, obviously there's the chat right here, and if you go full screen, then you don't see that. And then you can, I think, make it smaller I don't know you can seriously mess with the ratio of this but uh, we're gonna be looking into how to create one of these for yourself okay so we're gonna go in here and create a new uh, Photoshop document this will just be a template or I don't know what I'll name it we'll just do template but like we were looking at earlier uh, with our banner size here we're gonna want to make sure that we put in 1920 by 480 that is a profile banner that's what we're working on right now so your width is gonna be 1920 and then obviously your height will be uh, 480 I typically leave the resolution at 300 and my color mode to 16 bit. You can change any of this if you want, if you have other uh, choices, but this this has worked out the best for me so, so far here. Uh, you can make the background whatever color you want. I just have it set to black, I think. And uh, yeah, here we go. So if we go back and forth between the one that I created for my friend here, you can see uh, that it's the same exact size. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set this margin right here so I know where to stop because I prefer that the banner ends where the screen ends. So on my new one, I'm just gonna come to right about here on the rulers. If you don't have the rulers on your screen, you can click right here, click view, and then go down to rulers or just hit control R and your rulers will show up here. But right at about five and a half, maybe not five and a half, but right about there. So click over here and drag it. Mm, we'll go right there. And that's where we're going to stop our banner. So you can see uh, both of these have a gradient. Or actually mine does not have a gradient, but his does have a gradient. So what I did is instead of centering it with the entire image, I centered it with just the space between this line and the beginning of the image. So it would all be centered on here. I'll just go ahead and throw a gradient on here real quick. Okay, here we have a pretty colorful rainbow uh, gradient or whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to go ahead and put some text over here. And uh, the one thing that you're going to want to look for is a really big, legible, readable font. Don't try to have like crazy font. Um, you can see the font that I use for this one is Minecraft font. Uh, that's You can find that all over the internet and download that and install it. Uh, my font is a little bit more simple, but also very easy to read. So I'm going to pick uh, just an easy one. Just... I don't know, I kind of like this one. Uh, pick a color out. Actually, we'll just do black. So I've just written Boss Gaming in here. You can put anything in here that you want, but um, the name 
of whatever your channel is called, obviously, is what you're going to want to put in there. So uh, I select this and then click to uh, edit and free transform. So you can change the shape and size of this text without having to be too precise. Like I said before, I'm going to center everything inside this margin over here. I'm not too worried about this over here. If anything, I might put additional information over here, like links to things that aren't in the main picture. Okay, so once you have your text on here, uh, the name of your your channel or your Twitch channel or however you want to do it, uh, I'm going to put an effect on this text so it'll stand out a little bit more. It, do, it does already pop quite a bit, but um, how I'm going to do this, I'm going to double click the layer that we have selected right here. This is going to bring up this uh, layer style uh, window or whatever you want to call it. There's two really good options for getting your text to stand out on top of something. Or I guess really, really there's there's multiple of them because you could use these ones up here. I just don't typically use these ones too often. So the two that I really use the most are going to be Outer Glow. Whoa, holy crap. And uh, Drop Shadow. So that's going to make it look like the text is actually on top of the image instead of part of the image. Uh, I'll show you how to do an outer glow. This one's kind of colorful because uh, I was working on something, but typically when you come in here, it's going to be selected to white, and it's probably just going to look like look like this. It's just going to look like it's kind of glowing a little bit, which is actually a pretty decent look. Um, but in order to get your text to stand out, you're going to want to turn your opacity all the way up. Your size and your spreader are going to change how the um, the glow actually works. We're just going to have a slight glow around the outside of black and white. That looks good there. Okay, so now we have uh, our background, which is our gradient here, the multiple color, the rainbow thing. We have our text with the effect on it, so it stands out a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put some images down here and some other information. You can see what I did for this one here as I put his Epic Games account, uh, the link to his YouTube channel, or the name of his YouTube channel, actually, because the link would have been uh, much longer, and then for Instagram. And I believe... Okay, so, or you could do like mine where this is a little bit more stylized. I have a, an Arc T Rex, a Grand Theft Auto character, a Battlefield 1 character, and a gun from Fortnite. So, really, this part is up to you creatively. Um, a lot of people I see put links to other content that they post. However, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something kind of interesting for this. Okay, I've went ahead and pulled some pictures here, and I'm going to go ahead and, and show you the, the rest of this process. So, I pulled uh, four pretty well recognized characters here we have Yoshi, Crash Bandicoot, Aspire of the Dragon, and a Pikachu. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull just the silhouette of Pikachu. There's several ways to go about this. Unfortunately this is uh looks like looks like it has yeah okay so it's on top of a white background but the image itself is actually larger than the whole thing. So the best way to get just this here uh he's surrounded by a white background so what I'm gonna do uh, what's easiest here if you take your lasso the little paintbrush tool here go ahead and, and do the plus because we're gonna want to add a selection make sure you have your layer selected I'm gonna select just a little bit of this white uh, above his head here if you go to select and then click similar that's gonna select all the white in the image so uh, that goes ahead and selects everything around him also it's gonna select inside his eyeballs which we don't want so I'm gonna go to go to minus and then remove the selection of his eyes so now we have the entire outside selected which is actually inverted of what we want. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to go select and click um, inverse right here. And then now it has everything besides what you had selected originally selected. So unfortunately this, like I said, image size is bigger than the Pikachu inside it. So there's this little bit of transparent above the image and it selected that also. Because there's nothing in that file space, that space up there, when I go and click and drag this, it's gonna get rid of that. So we don't have to worry about that at all. I'm going to go ahead and pull this to my image here. And there you can see your little Pikachu. Um, he looks cool how he is, but I'm going to give this guy an effect also. So I'm going to select this whole layer that has him in it. Drag it a little bit so it, it gets his shape. So now we have the shape of Pikachu. I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. And then go back to Pikachu and then just toggle this. So you can't see Pikachu anymore, but it's still in your layer 1. Layer 2 has the shape of Pikachu selected on it, but is not actually there. So I'm going to go back to this tool, paint bucket, and I'm going to dye this shape black. Oh, I'm sorry, I clicked the wrong layer. So go to your layer 2 that you have it selected on, and I'm going to dye this, this image of Pikachu black. So now we have this black silhouette of Pikachu. Uh, I'm going to hit enter, and then go ahead and hit deselect. 
and you can leave this as is but also like this text I'm gonna give it an effect as well so you can now go ahead and click and remove your original Pikachu is still there it's under the layer that you have now but I'm going to remove the original Pikachu because we don't need it anymore so for each of these icons I'm gonna make the inside glow um, a color that has to do with the image so Pikachu obviously is yellow so I'm gonna go ahead and find a yellow here bright yellow and then uh, increase the opacity a little bit so you can see what it is and there you go that's all the more I'm gonna do to this image and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other four images and then I'll be back Okay, so I have all four images on here. As you can see, Pikachu has the yellow inner glow. Uh, Spire of the Dragon got the purple. Crash Bandicoot got orange. And then green for uh, Yoshi. So pretty much that wraps it up as far as creating the banner. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to save it the best way so that uh, you don't get any file size issues with Twitch. So if you click file and you go down here to export instead of save as, this is actually going to help you compress the file smaller. So if you go to cl click uh, export as PNG, this is going to help compress the file size the best it can without losing any of the quality. And also, um, this is a file that Twitch recognizes. So you can go to whatever file you want to save this as. Go ahead and type in, uh, I put t uh, template banner in there. And then it's going to say all files here, but this is actually going to export this as a PNG. So when you click save, it'll go ahead and run that and save that as a PNG. Before you leave though, it's super important because of the way you saved it make sure that you also save it as a Photoshop document. You also want to make sure you have it saved as a Photoshop document or else you're not going to be able to go back in and edit this if there's something wrong or something that you don't like. So make sure you save that and turn on maximum compatibility in case Photoshop ever updates. You want to make sure you can use it in the newer Photoshop versions. All right, guys, that's going to uh, go ahead and wrap up this video for today. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or anything that you would like me to make a tutorial on, go ahead and leave a comment in the description below or the comment section, I mean. If you want to, you can check me out on Twitch. I do live streams of me photoshopping stuff for people or sometimes I play games if you want to watch me play a game there. Like I said, I appreciate the view. Go ahead and leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.